Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Shep Reviewers. In this video, I have a top three Mac apps video for you guys. So let's jump right into this. The first app that I want to show you guys is one that I recently purchased and has made my life so much easier. It's called HyperDoc. So I'm going to just search it up here, pull it up. This is the preferences window for it, but you do not have to like have this running at the same time because you can check this little box right here that says keep HyperDoc running in the background. So um, you don't have to have it. Uh, the app actually running like visibly you can just have it in the background so what this does is it allows you to see previews so for example I can hover over my Safari and see that I can hover over Google Chrome and see that so first of all I'll just explain what this application actually does so it's available in the Mac App Store for $9.99 you can also buy it from their website and it supposedly has a couple more features that they couldn't fit in on the App Store but it's not that big of a deal so what it allows you to do is view things first of all in your dock quite like in Windows so you can see there uh, I can hover over any of these and see them I can hover over Spotify and see that it just really improves your productivity and makes things a lot so easier. if I pull up Google here I can simply grab the top here and just pull it over to the side and it will take up half the screen I can drag it back up to the top to make it take up the full screen pull it back over here uh, I can also double tap it which will also uh, enlarge it and then if I bring it down here to the bottom it will center it so uh, you can really snap your windows uh, just like kind of in Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, that you can do so that's also a nice feature that uh, I've actually been re really enjoying using so let's pop back into the uh, preferences here and you can see exactly what you can do so these are little window previews here so you can change um, how often or how long it takes for them to pop up you can make it not show if there's only one window you can change the appearance uh, there's specials for like uh, if you hover over your calendar which I'm not going to do because it has personal information but um, I've got that enabled then there's window management and you can change um, how they snap together and then there's the about section so this is available in the Mac App Store for $10 and I think it's definitely worth it. Alright next up we have Hider 2 so let me just pull this up here and this will basically allow you to encrypt and hide anything on your Mac basically that you want so you set up a master password and uh, once you enter it you can enter into the vault and inside of it you can actually add secure nodes anything else you want and it's all encrypted AES 256 bit and it is secure and it's hidden from your computer so you can't you know like use spotlight search here and search for it it will be hidden so I'm obviously not going to open this but if you do want to store like tax information or anything else that you want this is a great app All to right, do last so. but not least we have little snitch and this application is really awesome it is not in the Mac App Store um, also I forgot to mention that Hyder 2 program is actually $20 so if you want to pick it up that's how much it costs little snitch is actually $35 but it is definitely worth it because what it will allow you to do is block and allow any network traffic that you'd like so you can see all the different network traffic that comes in so if you want to check and make sure that an application is not sending data over the network that you don't want for example as you can see here I have Hyder 2 blocked I don't want any network traffic from them going to their servers or from their servers back so I've blocked all network traffic from Hyder 2 uh, just to keep make sure my data is secure I don't want it being transferred anywhere so there's no need for the, that application to connect to the internet so basically what I can do is control who accesses my computer essentially from the internet so it's a great application for anyone who is security conscious and just doesn't want um, random application sending and transmitting your data so uh, you can also allow blocks um, permanent blocks you can allow whitelisting to allow certain apps to um, uh, access the internet and it's, it's overall just a really awesome application definitely worth the $35 um, so those are my top three Mac apps for right now. Those are the three that I use quite often and I think they're definitely worth the price. So I will have all of them linked below in the description if you want to check them out. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.